Today is December the 3rd, and as I have the past few days, I'll be talking about the two new daily items in the Halo Infinite store, and determine whether or not I believe they're worth the money. Now as I say in all these videos, whether or not they are actually worth the money is purely dependent on your own opinion on these items, and whether or not you're willing to spend that amount of money on these specific items. The point of these videos is more so to give my opinions on them and whether or not I believe that you should spend this much and determine whether or not I think they're worth the value they're priced at. So we have two new bundles on the shop today being the Reach Operator Pack and the Intrusion Pack. The Intrusion Pack has been on the store before, maybe once or twice within the first week of the game's launch. So we'll talk about that bundle first and we'll come to the Reach Operator Pack in a moment. So the Intrusion Pack comes with four items. A helmet attachment, which is usable on all helmets that are compatible, which is majority of the Mark 7 ones, if not all of them at the moment, I believe. It also comes with a Sandrift Gully armor coating, which is fine. It's nothing too special. It's like a brownish deserty color armor coating. It's fine. It's not the best. It's not terrible. It's a completely fine armor coating. And then you also get two shoulder pads. This bundle costs 500 credits, which equates to about $5, or for me, it's about three to four pound. I think this bundle's fine, as I said with the one that was on the shop, that was it yesterday, that also cost 500 credits or something like that. I think these are fine little bundles for the price about it, for the price point. You get some decent items here and they can definitely make your Spartan seem a little bit more unique. The helmet attachment isn't anything phenomenal, however, at least it's something to make your helmet just slightly differ. And the shoulder pads definitely look pretty cool. I do think this one is pretty okay for its price. You don't get anything amazing for the in the bundle however it's not a very expensive bundle so honestly i'd say if you've got the money go for it you might as well get it it's you get some decent items here and it's pretty cheap now the next bundle is the reach operator pack this one is completely brand new all of the items have not been seen on the game yet this bundle costs a thousand credits which is the same price as the battle pass and contains five items a helmet attachment an armor coating two shoulder pcs and a knife on your chest now you'll notice that this bundle contains pretty much the exact same amount of PCs as the last bundle we've just spoken about, however this one has the inclusion of a knife on the chest. Now the shoulders that are included are the operator shoulder pads from Halo Reach and the coating here, the final stand coating, is actually really nice and I do like this coating. The helmet attachment was obviously also in Reach. This bundle is actually for the Mark V B armor core, which is something I feel like I should have specified straight away, but this one is for the Mark V B armor core, whereas the other one is items for the Mark VII armor core. But yeah, let's talk about that pricing real quick. Now, although I don't think this is a terrible bundle for the price, I think we have seen other bundles that have been the same price or even more expensive that have definitely not felt like they're worth that money. I think this one's fine. However, it's quite strange that this one contains the exact same amount of items as the intrusion pack, except the fact that it has one extra item, which, which is a knife on your chest, which implies that that knife alone is worth 500 credits. Had this bundle been 700 credits, I'd see it being completely fine. If it was round about that much, I might have even brought it. I think that's a really good price point if that was the case. But that knife alone being 500 credits, I feel is rather strange. Yes, this is a cool piece of equipment, but like I said with the one that was on yesterday, this is something that most players aren't even going to notice in-game. It's going to look cool on your Spartan. However, it's quite a minor thing. It's quite a minor detail. It's quite small it just sits there on your chest most people aren't going to notice it and you're only ever going to really tell it's there in the menu now i know that's the case with a lot of armors however a lot of them stand out a lot more in game whereas this is quite a minor thing i think it does look cool having this knife on your chest piece but the fact that it almost feels like this is valued at 500 credits on its own is where i have issues Overall, I think this bundle's okay. Like I said, the final stand coating I think is quite nice. The operator shoulder pads are returning shoulder pads from Reach. They're not my personal favourites. I'm not a huge fan of them. However, I know it has its fans. And they're not the worst shoulder pads either. I think they're quite decent. And the helmet attachment, again, is a nice addition. It's usable on majority of the Reach helmets, if not all of them. But I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the combat knife essentially pushes this pack up to the 1000 price point rather than 500. I think it would have made so much more sense had this bundle been priced at 700 credits rather than 1000. I won't be talking about the Anubis armor set or the Splinter Desert bundle as I spoke about both of them in the first shop video I did. So if you wanna check that video out, I'll leave a link up on your screen now or in the description. It'll be one of the two. So you can go check that out if you wanna hear my thoughts on them. 
I've been uploading shop videos for the past couple of days ever since the start of the well ever since the shop reset on Tuesday and I'm hoping to do so for the next few days next few weeks as long as I can pretty much but yeah that's all from me today folks if you have enjoyed today's video and you're new here do consider subscribing I'd really appreciate that and if you have enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like but that's all from me and I'll catch you in the next one